I am circuit in chess. Uh, I will be doing an analysis of a game I played uh, with uh, JME if I am pronouncing that right. Uh, so let's start. Uh, I played basically e4, e5, knight c3. Now basic stuff. Uh, this is basically scotch open. Opponent takes with uh, his pawn. I take with the knight and he takes back by knight which is not a good move. Now I get my queen in the center. Uh, opponent attacks my queen with c4, c5. I play a uh, queen to e3 uh, which is basically uh, one of the good squares to go. Uh, like you can go to, uh, you can check but uh, that's not a good move. You are just letting the opponent uh, help uh, in castling. So that's not a good uh, So I go queen uh, to e3 and then opponent is uh, bishop to e7 uh, wanting to castle the next move. I play uh, pawn to e5 uh, attacking his knight so that uh, restricting, a, to, restricting him to castle. He retrieves back his knight. I thought he was supposed to play knight to g4, which was a physical move. I guess he was scared of some uh, uh, unprotected knight as the knight will be unprotected, but he can just d6, pawn to d6, or d5 to protect his knight. I guess I play bishop to c4. Basically, developing my right square bishop and also a uh, scope of bringing my queen to f3 and then uh, making a checkmate threat in future. Opponent plays uh, d6 attacking my center pawn. Uh, now, here I was supposed to take on d6 and then opponent will play, uh, play obviously take back the pawn. Now, I have this move knight to b5 attacking his queen he can go to either square uh, d7 or d8 to protect his uh, to protect his uh, dark square bishop and uh, so but then i can play queen to g3 in the face uh, so my queen is guarding this square and i can just fork uh, his uh, a king and the rook so basically that's what angel says but i obviously i am not an angel i play e6 one to e6 and it's a blunder because like my advantage is all gone now uh, then opponent takes obviously i take back he takes i take uh, now opponent plays uh, knight to f6, developing his knight as well as uh, trying to castle the next move. Knight castle, uh, opponent plays queen to d7, wanting to trade off uh, the queens. I play rook to e1, uh, defending the queen, as I don't want to trade the queens. Uh, and I want to trade queens in my own turf. Uh, because now if he takes I can take with my rook and his bishop will still be uh, in pin with the, the king so he takes I take uh, so he moves his king to attack my rook I retrieve back now opponent develops his rook and brings it to the center I develop my dark square bishop up to me then basically he manually castled by bringing his king to g8 from e8 now I double up the rooks attacking his uh, dark square bishop he moves the dark square bishop uh, and now here uh, some of you may be thinking I can take the rook, he'll take back, and I can take and I am upper rook, but don't uh, think that because he can take back with his knight. 
so I play bishop to g5 attacking a knight so that uh, I can take uh, the rook now he takes the rook I take back he plays rook to e8 I take back his knight uh, to take the rook obviously he will not run that uh, so he takes my rook first and then takes my bishop now uh, we have an endgame of uh, a knight and a dark shell bishop we have both equal pawns now uh, I bring my king to the center and put all my pawns in, uh, to the light square as uh, his bishop is a dark square uh, now uh, basically he tries to uh, prove his advantage on uh, the left side as uh, he has four pawns now he has a pawn advantage but it's not like i am losing or something i can take his pawn uh, by some forks maybe uh, now, uh, now i get a fork of uh, the bishop and pawn but still he won if he wants he can protect it but he didn't protect it so obviously i took now he blundered a full piece by a few now obviously i take and now bring my knight to the other side and now i go for his pawns capture capture and i capture all his pawns now the simple end game is, is, is to just uh, push these pawns and win the game that's uh, what I try to do, but uh, I also have to keep in mind there are no stalemates, uh, so that's why it looks like I have some uh, time issues. Opponent just uh, waiting for some stalemate uh, move. I have to keep it in mind, that's why like time is solo and is this much more than mine now i give up my pawn to promote uh, my uh, other pawns i get to promote uh, the pawns but now i have only one second and obviously it's a draw uh, with uh, time off versus uh, no material for my opponent so that's my analysis of the game uh, thank you so much for watching uh, see you in next video.